Hi. Welcome to the live video for this week. I'm just taking my AirPods out so I can talk. Uh, we'll wait a second before we get started. Um, if you have any questions at any point, just type them into the question thing at the bottom. Um, today we're going to be talking about piecing the Phoebe quilt blocks. And um, this is part two. So last week we did part one. We're just going to finish them up. So uh, they're pretty simple to put together. So I don't think it'll be anything too crazy. I have a few tips for you. Um, mine are mostly pieced. I'm, I have one seam left in each block. So we'll talk about that. Hopefully my dogs don't make too much noise. Um, I've been doing videos on Tuesday because that's the day everybody's gone. My husband's at work on Tuesdays. He works from home every other day. So the hope is that it's quiet, but the dogs are still here. <laughs> so I'm going to flip you around so you can see my blocks. Uh, all right. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Um, I have another project going on, so I've got a little mess. All right, so here's the block I made um, for the blog post yesterday. So I've made one block. And then I've mostly... Oops. I should treat that a little nicer. I've um, My other blocks are mostly constructed. I have one seam left. So... Somebody asked last week whether we should be worried about fabric placement at that point. I honestly don't even really think too much about fabric placement as far as the block goes until this point. I just kind of, not randomly, I do, I guess I do think about it, but I, I don't plan it ahead, I guess, until this point. So now I'm going to plan these blocks before I do each seam. And in each block, I'm going to try, I'm going to close my door. Sorry, the dogs are playing in the hallway. Um, I'm going to try to get variety of scale. So like this is kind of a larger scale thing, smaller, um, different colors, different prints, and different values. So I want like a mix of dark and light in each block. Now, if you need to have the same print in each block just put them you know on try to get them as far apart as possible once they're in the quilt it's hard to see where the actual blocks are so you know it I wouldn't stress too much about it okay so I want to put I'm going to just start matching some together so that I can piece these and I will I do pin everything because you do want your block all your pieces to end at the same place. You can, this one's a little bit off, but they're pretty close. I don't ever square blocks when I get to this point because um, it should be just the right size. So this should be 10 and a half inches when you're done. This side should be nice and even. This side should be nice and even. And all the corners should be nice and square. So pinning will help you do that. And I usually when I pin, I pin about every two inches, which... I know you might think it's too much, but it does it does a good job. So I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> All right, so I want to mix. I'm gonna put these ones on the top. Oh, I'm all mixed up. I want to mix up, you know, different prints. Different. I'm just gonna kind of look through these. I'm not gonna stress too much about um, everything, like you know. I could put these two in the same block. These are the same print, but they don't really look that much alike because they're so different color-wise. Um, or, you know, here, this would be, I have a couple darks, a couple kind of mid, and then a light. I've got variety. I've got larger scale. I've got smaller scale. Um, so that's going to be the goal without spending too much time stressing about it. And I will save this video onto Instagram and I will try to remember to put it on YouTube. I forgot last week. I have added it though. Apologize for that. Last week got a little crazy um, with the pattern release and everything. Oh, see, I don't want to do that because that's the same print. It's really easy once you uh, start working on it for a long time to not be able to see um, that you've already 
got the same print in the same block and I sometimes so like I'm not going to stress about those being in the same block they're on opposite sides and they're different colors so if I stress about it all day this could take you know a lifetime to do because it doesn't really matter that much So I need to go through the Phoebe Quilt Along hashtag today and look and see what people have posted. Um, I want to get some, there's just kind of a lot of blue and pink, up, light pink up here. I want to get some different color. So even though these are the same, I'd rather, you know, try for a little more variety. This is not going to be the very, <laughs> very exciting. I'm not going to do very many because this is going to take me a little bit. Um, so next week we will um, work on quilt top construction. We'll talk about cutting our corner and our side blocks next week because that's it's not stressful. Don't worry about it. It's very hot here today and it's quite warm in my sewing room. So I'm gonna try to do something in a different room. Maybe I may base a quilt to get out of this room. Cause I get a lot of sunlight in the morning and then it gets hot. So I'm just gonna keep going with these. Um, I'll show you an example of how I'll pin. I'll do this one. So I always like when I'm pinning to put the smaller piece on the top. I don't think it really matters, but it just helps me. So this piece is not as wide as that piece, so I'll put it on the top. I always piece, or I always pin at the beginning, one at the end, and then I pin about every two inches. Just kind of straighten it out, put one towards the middle, and pin back to here, one over here, and one over here. And it may seem like a lot of pins, but it really helps keep the seam allowance consistent when you're sewing it through your machine. And one other thing that I like to do, I don't know if you can see, since I press my seams open, when I put the pin through, I always pin every time there's this, an open seam on the other side, I'll pin it open. And that helps keep the sides from getting folded over when I sew because I don't like that. So that's how I'll pin each one and then I'm going to press them all open. Um, like I said, these should be 10 and a half inches unfinished, which means the size before you sew them into the quilt, they'll be 10 inches finished. Um, and I don't think there were any questions posted. So I think hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm going to go through the hashtag today. And I'll probably um, repost some, some progress shots. So make sure you have posted a recent photo. And yeah, so let's get sewing so we can put our quilt tops together next week. <laughs>